Thanks for joining us post-match. A pretty breathless affair. How did you pick the bones out of that one? Oh, uh, well, listen, ultimately pleased that we got someone out of the game. I thought we definitely deserved someone out of the game. I've, I've said to them, we should have really scored five today. The chances we had, first half, and then the one-on-one -on -one at the start of the second half, the, you know, um, and Bellet going through one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, whether you drag it past him, roll it in the empty net or whatever, you keep him made a save. But a bit frustrating, you know, because we, we did create chances. And I'm not sure they deserve to score two goals today either, but um, I said they're a good team, Swansea. We have to accept that uh, good teams in this league can give you problems. Um, but I thought we were in the ascendancy for a lot of the game, and I thought we created enough opportunities to get the fans interested. And um, just a bit disappointed we never took three points, of course, at home. But... Um, yeah, enough enough to give us encouragement moving forward. Certainly a deserved point. How pleased were you with the character shown by your team to come from behind twice? Yeah. Listen, I hope that's always going to be the case. You have to keep going for the 90 plus minutes and um I I we didn't we definitely didn't deserve to lose that football match and it looked like we were going to for long spells. Delighted JJ came on and, and did what he did. Um but I think it was I think it was warranted. They all worked hard. They're all in the dressing room. You can see how hard they worked and they, um, how we deserve the point at the end of the day. So, content, really, not happy. Content, move on. Lots of more work to do. Lots of games to play. And um, let's see where we go on Tuesday nights in the Cup. Plenty of goal mouth action. The two goals we did score, really well taken by Sariki and Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm more just standing here now. I'm more disappointed with the chances we missed, to be honest. But because um, it seemed to me we, we should have been, we should have had four for staff. They're not just half chances. That that a coach is going, or oh, that was a good chance, could have scored. They are right in front of the goal, really, and um, it didn't go in. But hopefully, keep creating chances, keep working as hard as they did, and uh, we'll find a way to win football matches moving forward. And to take those chances, is it just that repetition on the training ground you've talked about? I think so. Everything's repetition in my mind. To create the good habits that make a good football team. Um, they've had three days really to take it in, to, to listen. to. There's lots of things that I've just talked to them about that need to be better that aren't. And what I like, um, not enough forward passing from the back. Don't put your foot on it and go back. It's like a lack of confidence really from the team that... I, I don't know what's happened over recent weeks. Um, I want them to play forward. I want, I want the left the left back to stride into the 50 yards of space in front of him with the ball, confident that he can dribble and play, and then pop a pass and keep going and get stuck back in, rather than going back to his middle centre half all the time and back to the goalie. And we've got to be a better football team than that, and and, and we will be, I'm sure. And the crowd, more than 21,000 in St Andrews this afternoon. They certainly enjoyed seeing your team go forward. How did you enjoy the reception you got pre-game and, and their support throughout the match? So it's, it's fantastic. You know, again, it's um, some nights very humbling for a new coach. You know, I, I hope in six months' time they're still happy with the coach. You know, it's um, results, results for football clubs. The, the supporters want to see their team work hard and try and win games, and that's what my job is. I'm about the no illusions, it's not about how I talk or what I do, it's about the team trying to win football matches for the people who pay hard earned money to come and watch them and support them and that's what we aim, to give them a team that they should be proud of or could be proud of. And you've alluded to the fact that we have an FA Cup third round replay here on Tuesday. How are you looking forward to that one and a chance to progress to the fourth round? It's the next game for me, it's an opportunity to look at some more players. I don't think, you know, it's not a, oh, change everybody. It's it's a game where I want to see the boys I haven't seen because when I talk to them, I need to see, you know, Keshi Anderson, for instance. He trains really well. He's got really tight control. I need to see him on the pitch. I need to see the players on the pitch. And so we will make some changes, hopefully not weakening the team at all, but giving opportunity to everybody. And just finally, coming towards the end of your first week at the helm, how have you settled in? A, a big thanks to everybody for you know from the ground staff to the to the stewards at the the game here all of the people at the training ground yourself and your department um just thank you for making it me welcome and making me feel as if I can make an impact at this football club and um I will give everything I've got to you know I will work all hours and and try my very best to give the people a team that they can all be proud of whether they work at the club and they come into the training ground 
they still have to put a smile on their face because we won at the weekend and for the people who pay their money and, and come and support and sing the songs and cheer the team we have to try and give them a team to be proud of too thank you for your time okay thank you